What are causality and stability? We all are aware that smoking effects are health a lot. People who used to smoke got lung cancer and other diseases because of their smoking habits. Thus, their past and present habits are affecting their today's health. Similarly, in case of causality, the output depends on present value, past value or both. Now, let us take another example. Sun rays are used in the solar system based equipments we use in our day to day life. For example, geyser, solar traffic signal light. The amount of sunlight we use at home at the first day does not affect our future consumption. That means our present day usage of sunlight is not going to affect future needs. The same thing happens in case of stable system. Thus, we can say that. A stability of the system is one whose output does not change in response to an input. In the next section, we'll discuss causal signal and causal system. First, we'll discuss causal signal. Signal that are zero for all negative time is known as causal signal. Second comes causal system. A system in which the output depends on present value as well as past value is known as causal system. For example, the motion of the car is causal since it does not anticipate the future action of the driver. Thus, causal system is also referred to as non-anticipative system as the output does not anticipate the future value of the input. Before discussing about stable system, we'll go through the bounded and unbounded signal. Signal whose amplitude does not change with respect to time is known as bounded signal. Example, sine wave signal. The signal whose amplitude keeps on changing with respect to time are so-called unbounded signal. Example, ramp signal. Now, what is stable system? A system is said to be stable if it is bounded input. Also, the corresponding output is bounded, where K1 and K2 are finite real numbers. The related term is